Good day everyone. My name is Irish Lagawan. Today I will be discussing topics on viewing reading as a skill. Struggling, struggling to be a successful student? Don't get discouraged. It isn't magic, but it does require desire, motivation, and a lot of works. If you want to learn how to become a successful student, then you've come to the right place. This study skills guide will show you and provide everything in order to learn and how to learn effectively. So what is study skills? Academic skill or study strategies are approaches applied to learning. Study skills are an area of skills which tackle the process of organizing and taking in new information retaining information, or dealing with assessments. They are discrete techniques that can be learned, usually in short time and applied to all or most field of study. More broadly in skills, which boast a person's ability to study, retain, and recall information. So, why study skills are important? We all know that some students do poorly in school because they never learn to study. Maybe this because teachers usually do not spend time helping children acquire study skills, which are skills that have students study more efficiently. So here are some reasons why study skills are important. First, learning study skills will not only help you in school, but they will also help you succeed in life. Next, good study skills can increase your confidence, competence, and self-esteem. They can also reduce anxiety about tests and deadlines. Next, by developing effective study skills, you may be able to cut down on the numbers of hours spent time, leaving more time for others in your life. Next, Good study skills can, prove, can improve your ability to, to learn and retain knowledge. Next, students who, who use effective study skills may feel their work and effort is more worthwhile. The study smarter, not harder, by actively developing good study skills and learning strategies. You will keep your motivation high and achieve your goals more easily and efficiently. So here are some study skills that make studying easier. First, effective reading. It helps students to understand written language and constructively process the meaning of the text. Learning to read is a lifelong process. So aside from reading for pleasure, readers read for different purposes. Effective reading helps the students to understand reading language and constructively process the meaning of the text. So, it is also enable a person to expand their vocabulary as well, as this improves their understanding of function use, punctuation use, correct grammar, and utiliz util utilization of literary components. Second, active listening. So, active listening is important to students for several reasons and has several positive outcomes. The teachers like to encourage when a student is engaged in active learning. They are less likely to misunderstood what they've taught. Their knowledge is more deeper and more comprehensive with fewer gaps in the student's understanding. So, students who engage in active listening are more likely to be self-reliant. Next, reading comprehension. It is understanding and interpretation of what is to read. Reading comprehension is the understanding and interpretation of what is read to be able to accurately understand reading material. Children need to be able to first decode what they read. Second, Make connections between what you read and what they already knew. Third, 
can think deeply about what they have already read. Next is the art of note taking. Good note taking will improve your active listening, compre listening, comprehension of material and retention. So active note taking during class can help you focus and better understand main concepts. Good note taking will improve your active listening com and comprehension and active material and retention. So taking notes on both synchronous and asynchronous Materials will help you better remember what you hear and see. Next is the use of mind mapping. Help you to see the whole and how parts work together. So mind mapping helps students to note down only the most important information using keywords and then making connections between facts and ideas. Visually keeping all your topic thoughts toge together on one sheet, these also make easier on students as it reduce, reduce pages of note into one single side of paper. Next is the read to yourself out loud. Reading aloud helps students learn how to use language to make sense of the world. It improves their information processing skills, vocabulary, and comprehension. They are also more likely to remember something if they had read, aloud, it, read it aloud. Speaking text aloud helps to get words into long-term memory. Next is teaching others. Learning by teaching others can help students' efficacy, confidence, and communication skills. This is skills extremely effective why? Because students who spend time teaching what they've learned go on to show better understanding and knowledge retention than students who simply spend the time re-studying re so by teaching your friends and mates, you will get the deeper understanding of lesson talk. Next is to, is to improve your time management skills. So effective time management skills increases your focus on productivity. They also reduces distraction and procreation. Taking control at your time, good management increases your productivity. It is also helps you to get more of your important work done simply and easily. Next is the memorization. The process of uh, the skill, the study skill that will follow students throughout their academic career and beyond. Memorization is study skill that will follow students throughout their academic career and beyond. Students are expected to memorize grammar rules, vocabulary wor words, poems, math facts, and even scientific principles. So, memorization is the process of committing something to memory. It is the mental process undertaken in order to store in memory for later recall, visual, auditory, or tactical information. The next one is the outlining. Outlining will help you construct and organize ideas in a sequential manner and truthful flow. So, it makes easier to determine the difference between the major and the minor supporting details. For example, in reading, it can help you understand the reading that is difficult. Next is scheming and scanning. Reading techniques that can help you learners in building reading skills. So these are reading techniques that use rapid eye movement and keywords to move quickly through text or likely different purposes. So scheming is reading rapidly in order to get a general, a general overview of the material, while scanning is a reading rapidly in order to find specific facts. So the function of these skills is to get an overview of the text and get the main points. Learners need to be learned different ways. And understand that choosing how to read is an important step in building reading skills. 
So the following are the classifications of study life skills listed in this module. So these study life skills are classified into three groups. The learning from text, learning from graphic needs, and using resources. So we have under from learning from text, we have following directions, content area reading, parts of a book, advertisements in index, note taking, test taking, outlining, scanning, skimming, reading, rate. And for learning from graphic aids, we have timelines, maps, charts, graphs, tables, schedules, diagrams, and form. The next one is using resources. In using resources, uh, we have alphabetical order, card catalog, choosing among resources, encyclopedia, newspaper, telephone directory, dictionary uh, and glossary, atlas, and the reader's guide. So these study life skills can help students study more efficiently and study skills are very important in content area in reading. So it is important to learn more about them, especially to how to teach them to our students.